Hey there, everybody. Gideon's Tactical here doing the in-depth review for you of the Afghan Bush by Ontario Knife Company in their Ranger series. Quick specs for you here. Uh, the Afghan Bush is 9.75 inches overall, weighs 11.4 ounces, have a, has a 5.5 inch blade. Made out of 1095 high carbon steel, micarta handles, nylon sheath. Those are the basic specs for you. 0.2 inches thick. Sorry, I forgot that. So those are the basic specs. Let's talk about this blade here. This thing is wicked awesome. Been able to do some use with it. The finish is awesome on that 1095. It's gray. I love that. You got to watch 1095. It has a tendency to rust. So this is awesome finish. And I've done some work with it. And what's awesome is it takes, it wears really well because I was able to, it just scuffed a little bit and I was able to put some water on it and rub the, the wood material right out of this blade. And that's really what this knife is designed for with this belly. It's, an, it's a drop point design with a massive belly right here, huge belly. And uh, this is really a wilderness survival blade. This is not a tactical blade, even though it is in their Ranger series. I just don't see you going in the, you know, into the fight with this type of blade because it's not going to stab very well at all. You're not going to do really any stabbing or piercing to any extent, you know, that go through arm body armor if you had to, or any form of clothes, you know, and, and over repeatedly. It's just really thick and wide and just really isn't designed for stabbing. I mean, you can stab some things, but it's just not really designed for that. It's much more for slicing and cutting. And that's what the belly is. It's just awesome with that full flat grind. Love that grind. Came sharp out of the box, which I was really happy for. I believe they do like a 22 degree edge. Perfectly ground on that tip. You can see that. I'm going to try and show you that. Perfectly ground. Nice, strong tip. But it does go in a little bit. Thins out at the tip a little bit, but not so much that it's weak. Good for even digging. You could dig with this if you had to, if you were in that situation. 1095, like I said. Full tang. Just awesome. Just, oh man, I was feathering with it. Choking up like that on that finger troll and just going to town. As well as batoning. This is going to baton amazingly well. And just do all the bush stuff that you would need. You know, this would be a knife you want to take in the outback and, you know, go on a walkabout. Try and find, you know, Crocodile Dundee or something like that. I mean, this is the knife you want. This is the knife you want going up in the wilderness and surviving for a week. This thing's going to treat you really, really well. Uh, good re edge retention. Rockwell hardness, I believe, is around 56. Uh, but it's going to be easy to sharpen when the time comes, particularly with that full flat grind. So that's awesome. Now, here's the thing. This is the bush which is a newer model. The original Afghan, it'll just say Afghan stamped across, is comes in at 14.4 ounces, so it's three ounces more, and it's a quarter inch thick. This one, the Afghan, is three ounces lighter at 11.4, and it has a 0.2 inch thick spine. So the spine is thinner. It still batons like nobody's business, but a quarter inch one will th bat baton even more, and is basically, in my opinion, uh, a great runner-up and in fact probably I would say on par with a BK2. It's the same thickness as a BK2, the original Afghan, not the Afghan bush. So, But that's awesome. No, no problems with that whatsoever uh, in the thickness. But just really pay attention to what you're purchasing. Read uh, the specs as well as the, the bush is made out of 1095 and the, the Afghan just the original Afghan is made out of 5160. So same type of steel, just a little bit different, different properties, but the steels are different as well. And the Afghan is a quarter inch thick, whereas this one's just a little bit thinner, but that makes it a little easier to do your wood processing and things like that, in my opinion. But this is a tank, you can pry open stuff. So the, the blade itself is amazing. The finger choil right here is awesome. You can choke up really close. I was able to do some feathering as well as, you know, hacking and splitting wood and things like that. But that finger choil is awesome. It's, you're not going to cut yourself right here. It dulls right there. So you're not going to cut yourself and you're choked up and you're going to town. So the ergonomics in that sense are awesome. The, we do have a thumb ramp and a thick spine, but no jimping. Would have liked to see some jimping there. Come on, guys. Put jimping from here to here. That would have been awesome. I would have loved that even more. Dig in really good. You know, just do the same jimping like the rat models have, and that would have been awesome. But no jimping, which is sad. But um, that's, that. you know, even when you're holding it back here, the thumb ramp definitely does help. It's nice to have that, you know, b better than just being flat. And when you're choked up like this, you know, it's a nice thick spine. You're not, you know, woo, flipping off the sides or anything like that. So the Afghan suggesting you're going to take this over to Afghanistan, which I'm sure you could definitely survive over in Afghanistan with this. And I think it might even be modeled after some of their, you know, um, indigenous knives that are over there because these the ranger knives are all designed by u.s army rangers 
they come back and suggest things to Ontario and they do it. So made in the USA, by the way, which is always awesome to see. So onto the handle itself, I wear large size gloves, micarta scales, plenty of room to spare. You can see I have a whole another finger area right there. Super thick. How thick is this? Let's see here really quick. Let me bust out the tape measure. We're looking at, yep, 0.775, basically three-fourths of an inch thick on those handle scales, much thicker than the Rat series and a lot wider than the Rat series, but got a really nice uh, palm swell here, finger guard and choil up here. Then you got this finger groove back here. So if you're backed up here and you're kind of having to chop, it'll do that really well, you're kind of choking up a little bit, doing your work or choking way up. Any way you hold it, it feels really good and just has way better design handle, in my opinion, than the Rat 3, 5, and even probably, I think the 7 might be close, but the Rat 3 and 5 for sure. This is definitely a better handle design, in my opinion. I like it a lot more. My card is scales, <clears throat> machined and rounded, so it's, they're nice and smooth, feel really good in your hand. But really good texture on the side, even when in wet conditions. You know, the micarta is going to give you even better texture as it gets wetter with either sweat or moisture. Huge uh, pommel on the bottom. No lanyard hole, though. Sorry, folks. No lanyard hole. But I don't need it with this particular one just because of how well the... the just, it just feels so balanced. So feels so good in my hands. But you could definitely pan, pound in some tent steaks with that. Break open a coconut if you're somewhere where there's a coconut. Um, or whatever else you would want to do with this, uh, you know, just is going to do great job hammering as well. So that's the blade itself. I'm super impressed. I think this is going to have to possibly go in my go-to wilderness blade now. Uh, not saying that I'm going to get rid of my Blackbird SK5. I love that knife, but I'm going to really start using this a lot, a lot more after my initial test. I'm just really impressed with it. The sheath, I've heard a lot of people complain about the sheath, but I got to tell you, in comparison to most sheaths that Ontario makes, this is actually one of the better designs. Very generic, you know, we got heavy duty nylon, which is nice, plastic clip, nice big pocket, you can get a lot of stuff in there, elastic band, you, know, you get a little survival kit, a Leatherman, you know, whatever else you would want in there, that's really nice. You got Molly on the back, so you can lash it to your pack, nice big belt loop. Rivets up here to lash paracord through, paracord through, so you can weave it through and lash it to your leg. Now what's nice is, then the difference again, another difference between the Afghan bush and the Afghan, the Afghan only has one of these lashings and it's, but and it's Velcro, not button. The bush has a little bit of an upgraded sheath with adjustable lashings and a button in their tu in their dual they're and they're a button so that this is actually a better sheath than what you would get with just the original afghan and you got a plastic insert in there you slide the sucker in there it's adjustable so you can tighten how how tight you want these lashings to be i want them really tight these are really strong good buttons but really nice nylon there so i can grab them when it comes time for me to pull it out but what's awesome is that i can't pull this out i'm pulling really hard and i cannot get this blade to come out Gravity's not getting a slide out at all, which is really good. The retention is really nice on this particular blade and this particular sheath. There is some rattle, but it's less than a lot of the other Ontario knives that we've seen. And uh, it's much better than a, a lot of knives I've seen, actually. It's on par with, I'd say, like a BK7. It rattles about the same. You know, there's going to be some rattling in there. You can do some mo little mods, either heat up that sleeve with a heat gun and you know form it a little bit better. Or you could take a piece of Velcro. Uh, at Walmart, you know, that has adhesive on one side, take the soft side, stick it in there, glue it to the top so that it just gives a little bit more retention inside the sheath because what's happening with that rattle is the blade's going up and down and knocking the top and bottom of the sheath. But if you put a little bit of either Velcro or something else inside the sheath itself, then that would really help with some of the rattle and bring it down probably almost to zero. But actually, one of the better sheaths that I've seen by Ontario Knife Company, pop those off, slide it back out. So those are the basic specs for you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is an awesome blade. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a five and a half inch blade that you can definitely take into the woods, into the bush, and kick the crap out of. And uh, I would highly recommend it. Ontario did a knockout job with this particular Afghan. It would stand the test of time. So thanks for watching, everybody. Stay equipped, stay prepared. I'll see you out there.